Hey guys, it's me, it's Andy, it's Cobra Commander TFW, here to do a little bit of a vloggy response to Mr. Dave, Mr. Kal Prime. Uh, and he's asking, of course, on a bad day, can bots make you happy? Can they bring some kind of joy to your life? Well, first off, I, I will say I'm back to standard definition, uh, so that's a bad start. Uh, it's been a fairly uh, bad day today, so I, I did a couple of things. Uh, I did go and buy today, because they are out in the UK. Generations Trail Cutter, Breaker, Cutter, whatever you want to say. Uh, and I will say, made me a little bit happier. Uh, it helped the fact that, uh, of the day that uh, I, I I wasn't expecting too much from this guy. I was kind of like, ah, maybe I'll get him, maybe I won't. He is just an Autobot. Uh, and he does have a couple of problems, like his, his uh, hip here is a little tad loose, especially on the inwards, like... You know? Apart from that, he's a really great figure. The face sculpt on this is fantastic. I'm not going to do that because uh, it, it won't nearly highlight how good it is uh, and he's got really great uh, light piping as well, he's got a huge visor on his face so and a big light pipe uh, bit at the back of his head so it just it burns through, it looks really good, very very good little trail cutter breaker, again whatever you like to call him. So I did that and that definitely perked me up, that made me happy uh, I also went to see uh, The Wolverine uh, in the cinemas uh, and again, had extremely low expectations of how that was going to turn out. I was surprised to see it wasn't too bad. I thought it was alright. Very uh, modern day uh, samurai kind of movie. And all of the Japanese locations were really good and were interesting to look at. They all had the nice kind of Japanese visual cues everywhere. Uh, it had a Japanese language as well. Not all of it was subtitled, but the bits that weren't subtitled every now and again, I was kind of picking out words going, I have a feeling I know what that conversation is about. Uh, so that that was cool as well. Uh, so go see the Wolverine. It's actually not bad. It's better than Origins. It's thousands of times better than Origins. And there is, of course, I'm not going to spoil it, but there is, of course, a thing at the end of the movie to lead into the next movie, uh, which, again, I want to say what the title is, but those who have checked out San Diego Comic-Con uh, know what the, the movie's called. Or probably You probably know already, but... That's up to you to go and find out yourself. Uh, but I'm pretty excited for that movie, because that one sounds pretty damn good. Uh, so that, plus Trail Cutter Breaker, God, Trail Breaker, we'll just say that. Uh, that plus Trail Breaker definitely lightened my mood today and made me happy. I uh, had a good day. Uh, also, recently made me happy as well. Boom! I uh, finally picked up a trade of More Than Meets the Eye. Got it because it's DJD stuff with good old Tom there. You should know what this means. You really should. Oh, I'm Tom! Tan is my name. I'm so lame. But yeah, it's got the DJD story in, which is really good. Uh, I love because it's mainly a Decepticon story. Uh, it's got, I'll call it the Rung incident uh, beforehand with, with uh, Swerve. Again, I won't elaborate. It's got that, which I, I didn't suspect. And it's got my other favorite story in, the Farmer story. And I was like, it's got Farmer story in as well. Ah! So uh, I picked this up, obviously. Hence why it's in my hand, oh, uh, and read it, and yeah, that that <laughs> that picked me right up as well. That was uh, some good stuff right there. So, yeah, if um, plastic don't pick you up, I will throw this out because that's what I'm gonna do. Does a good story, does a good read, whether it be a comic book, uh, whether it be a movie, uh, or whether it be uh, some other bizarre form of entertainment, your choice, bondage. It's a form of entertainment. Not one that I delve into, of course, but is that something that brings you happiness? Does it wipe away a bad day for yourself? I'm going to throw that back at you, Dave, because you like comics. I know you do. Uh, so I'm going to throw it back at you, Dave. Uh, I could ask you over the weekend, but that's not how we play the YouTube game, because then we can interact with other people, seemingly. I don't usually do this because I don't ever find I've got anything desperately interesting to say, but I thought I want to do it because, hey, I feel left out. I don't want to feel left out. Uh, I also want to do some shilling, because that's what I'm going to do, so swivel. Whee! That was you swiveling on my finger, by the way. I think it was obvious. Uh, so the shilling shall begin. Uh, again, I am selling stuff. Uh, my Transformers, G.I. Joes, and other bits and higgledy piggledy bits. Uh, and the links in below have uh, the list of my shop and stuff. I will be bringing some stuff to auto assembly as well. 
if there's specific stuff you want me to bring, uh, that is a guarantee sale, basically, that says, I want this for this price, I will give you the money for it at AA. That's good, because that means I know I'm shifting stock. You know, so please let me know. I can bring it down. Comments below or over on the... F I don't know why I'm doing this. I mean, Full Metal Hero is not behind my shoulder, hidden in this cupboard. Though it would be quite amazing if I somehow took the internet, bundled it up somehow in a physical format, and hid it in a wardrobe. I think I would be a pretty crap mutant, but it would be an interesting ability, nevertheless. Uh, also, I found out where the... Uh, what's it called? The how to the workshop the YouTube workshop thingy that I'm doing with Mr. Ben. That's for his link up here. If I remember to put it in, uh, Mr. Ben, because that's his YouTube channel, uh, and I will be doing it on the Saturday at twelve o'clock. That's not in the evening, so don't worry about that. Uh, though we could go blue if it was after midnight or during midnight. During midnight at midnight, okay, it could go hella blue. A bit blue, yes. Uh, but it's not. It's during the afternoon, so we are going to be in the York Hall. Uh, I don't know which one that is, but I'll, I will find out soon. Uh, I've still got a lot of stuff to prepare. Me and Ben have hacked out a basic kind of what we want to talk about here and there. Um, we're going to get you guys to ask us questions as well, because that's just how it rolls. Uh, and I've got to put together a slideshow of something of visual interest, because, hey, that's... Oddly enough, what the panel's about, so it'd be weird if I didn't have anything visually interesting to show you. So there you go. Uh, so that'll be there. Your call, 12 o'clock on Saturday, Auto Assembly. Be there or be somewhere else in the convention. Or you're not going to be at the convention at all, so this doesn't matter. Um, is there anything else? Uh, oh, I will be on a podcast panel as well. I think it's on the Saturday uh, at, at 5 o'clock. I'm sorry, Matt. Mr. Timey. Uh, I think it's at 5 o'clock in, again, the York Hall suite thingy. So, again, go there, I'll be there. Yeah, you can ask me questions about things, or... I don't know, you can throw toffees at me. Uh, or throw Mikey's at me, like like if Mikey runs off the stage. Mikey from the Moonbase 2 podcast. Uh, G Wolfie 2 or 3 on YouTube. Pick him up, just throw him back at me. I'll, I'll catch him and go, rah, and like break him over my knee. Because that's what I do with Mikey. Because I love him. I love him. I love him through the pain I give him, you see. It makes sense. It doesn't. Oh yes, uh, I did do another podcast recently on the old oil house, which again, links below, uh, called The Danger Room. And you may be asking, Andy, what is The Danger Room? And Andy, what's with the hand motions? I don't know. Uh, I do know, however, that The Danger Room is myself and Mr. Tricky, a man who does podcast on the old oil house, uh, and we talk about the awfulness that is the d that are not is that are the WWE movies. Uh, so we have looked at See No Evil. Um, it's not very good, but I think the podcast is fairly entertaining. Me and Tricky, uh, you know, had a nice little banter about science <laughs> and uh, alike. So please go and check that out. Uh, we do have if you want it to continue because we've still oh we've got some. Oh, we've got some awful stuff to see. We've got, like, the Marine, the Condemned, Knucklehead. Uh, and if you want us to go through this pain, you know, I, I'm going to say put a hashtag here, because we, we leave a hashtag in the show, like, we there's a key phrase, so it proves that you've listened to the show, or that you've gone through Twitter and found what the hashtag is, but that would be weird. So if you go through there, you'll get the hashtag, throw it in the bottom here, or throw it onto my uh, Twitter page, which is, of course at cctfw. Again, there was another plug. Uh, you can send it to Tricky as well at... because I can't remember your name Tricky apart from it's Tricky and then maybe something else. You can send it to him as well. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Dave, I'm throwing the question back at you. Not only plastic, but stories, comics, the movies, the television shows. That's right, I said television. The television shows. Can they bring you back up? Because I find a good movie or good comic can again lift my spirits. And what about you, dear viewer or listener, depending if you're watching this or just merely listening to it? Is there a particular story or movie that can uh, lift your spirits up? And there's a lot of hand motion, 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 a lot of hand motion today, a lot of hand motion today, so just uh, roll with it. Anyway, guys, 
uh, I'll call it quits. So I will catch you at some point for unfortunately an HD less SD video is what I should have said. I'll catch you for another SD review because I don't have HD. I do have some footage though which I did record before I gave my, uh, my camera, Dave's camera, back to him so uh, maybe I can do something with that footage. So until then people, I don't know, I've, I've got nothing. Peace.